volcano is ready to blow. Scientists warn, building to blow. This is a long valley caldera of California. It's not just Yellowstone that is ready to blow. We also have another old area, the Long Valley Caldera, located in the area of California. It would take in California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. Certainly hoping that they, all these states have evacuation plans, including filter masks to wear and emergency food and water. The way the Long Valley Volcano is acting, you might need this as soon as possible. When people think of California, they may think of earthquakes, but a lot of people don't know that there are volcanoes there as well. At least two, the Lassen Peak and the much larger Long Valley Caldera near Mammoth Lakes. In 1915, Lassen Peak erupted and wrecked a huge portion of the state of California. Now, over the last 100 days, the much larger Long Valley Caldera has been acting up. It's acting up with uplift, with earthquakes, and it's doing what geologists and the U.S. Geological Survey are calling concern. The caldera, the mouth of volcano, is moving. According to scientific instruments monitoring the area, the United States Geological Survey, that's the USGS, in the area in the vicinity of the Long Valley Caldera, find that it is deforming and it's moving rapidly compared to previous records. Now, how sure are they this is happening? They're 95% confident and the data assembled is significant. It shows that a recent time span, the amount of the movement is causing statistically significant strain in the rocks of the area. It is not a conspiracy theory or conjecture or amateur geological antics. This is from the USGS itself. This is the actual data. And uh, now if, if you can see it in the article I'll leave below for you. It, looks, it may look like gobbledygook to you, uh, but you're not alone. You can scroll down and understand the explanations. USGS instrument measurements. It says the following exceed SRN 1.5 and at the 95% CI, the assembly, the, the assemble is significant. Time span is 31 out of 730 days. To be significant at the 95% CI, counts need to be to exceed 20 units in either mm per year or nano strain per year. So uh, you can uh, be saved the trouble. All of the readings in the first data exceed the 20 units. Uh, the following units exceed NSR SNR 2.0 and at the 95% CI, the assemble is significant. This time span is 31 out of 730 days. To be significant uh, at the 95% CI level, counts need to be 9 units in either mm per year or nano strain per year. And now again, they save us the trouble. All the data in the second set exceeds 9 units. One is read by a lot. And the following exceed SRN 3.0 at the 95% CI assemble significant time span is 31 out of 730 days. Significantly at the 95% CI level, CI level, counts need to exceed one unit in either mm per year or nano strain per year. And again, they save us the trouble. They all exceed one unit. The ones in red by a lot. So, uh, so what does this mean? Uh, so, judging by the deformation directions and the rates, the magma plume is subsiding over the previous caldera and rising just south of it. This is where the earthquakes are swarming now. The entire thing is tilting away from the mountains, with the northern edge of the old caldera sinking, the southern edge moving north. It's as if pushed by some force in the swarm region, and this does not look at all good. This is what the USGS puts it as being. Increasing volcanic unrest, including earthquake swarms, ground deformation, and carbon dioxide gas emissions in the Long Valley area since 1980, increases the chance of an eruption occurring in the near future, 
scientists still lack adequate data to reliably calculate by how much volcanic unrest in some other large volcanic system has persisted for decades or even centuries without leading to the eruption. But since volcanic unrest can escalate to an eruption quickly in a few weeks or days or less, the USGS scientists are monitoring the activity closely. And for those of you who might not quite comprehend this, this they're putting it uh, very clearly in another way. Out of nowhere, the mountain started moving several times faster than it's ever moved before in a direction it is not supposed to be moving, while shaking like a leaf and belching poisonous gas. So that should be clear enough for just anyone. The USGS has also issued a status statement about the volcano which reads as follows. Long Valley Caldera, California, Mono County, latitude 37.7 north, longitude 118.87 degrees west, elevation 2,600 meters or 8,530 feet, volcano type caldera, composition basalt to rhyolite, most recent eruption 16 to 17,000 years ago, nearby towns, mammoth lakes, Threat potential, very high. Oh joy, threat potential is very high, just what we need. Earthquakes, there are huge swarms of earthquakes, there's a whole list here. So the ground is deforming carbon monoxide and earthquakes. We all know earthquakes are the pretty reliable indicator of a pending eruption. How many earthquakes have there been and how big were they? Well, there's been 284 earthquakes in the last five days. And the report says, notice the depth column uh, that very many of the earthquakes are happening at a negative depth. That means above ground. How does that happen? The volcano itself that rises 8,550 8, feet above ground, and some of the earthquakes are higher than ground level. That means that it's happening in the volcano itself. The above ground and the volcano quakes are highlighted in either yellow uh, less than two kilometers above ground or in red more than two kilometers above ground What causes earthquakes inside a volcano higher than the ground level? Well, that's lava moving upwards. So that's bad That's bad A negative depth above ground Lava moving upwards that means that it's about to erupt. There's a whole list of volcano of uh, Earthquakes here. I mean most of the article is all this if you care to see them one by one Now do you have your attention on this? That's good because We're told Exactly what an eruption of the long lava caldera could mean According to the USGS the volcano last erupted as we said 16 to 17,000 years ago before that they know it also erupted 760,000 years ago because they tracked the volcanic ash deposits and found they covered an area uh, shown in green on the map. Of course, the USGS could be correct. Perhaps, perhaps all this activity in earthquakes and ground deformation at a rate they've never seen before, the whole mountain moving in a direction it's not supposed to be moving and belching toxic gas might mean nothing. But then again, it could be what Mount St. Helens was about to happen when it blew before, just before it blew. We just figured the good folks of California, Nevada, and other nearby states might want to know what the facts are and decide for themselves if all this speculatory, unusual stuff means nothing. So if there is actually a big eruption coming, those big flows of gray colored ash that uh, careen down the mountain called pyroclastic flows uh, move at about 500 miles an hour. If you see movies, you see the people running, tr trying to run it out, uh, the, trying to get out uh, faster than the pyro uh, plastic flow, and uh, some of them do make it with the car. That's not true. That does not happen. Because it moves at 500 miles an hour. That's almost as fast as an airplane. And the temperature of those gray, billowy clouds of ash, that's 800 degrees. So you can... Uh, Count out running it, out running it. You will not survive it. It'll um, because the speed of the ash cloud knocks down everything in its path, and the temperature of the ash, ash cloud causes everything to bur 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 burst into flames. Now, for those in the green-colored area, green-colored area, 
uh, you should be aware that volcanic ash is not actually ash. It is pulverized rock. It will stall your car by clogging the air intake. And if you get out of your car to see why it's stalled and you breathe in a few whiffs of ash, it turns into mud-like sludge in your lungs and it turns into cement in a couple of good whiffs and you're suffocating on the sludge. There is no treatment, your cure, nor, nor, nor cure, you're just dead. So there are more quakes and they're getting stronger. In the hours spent researching and writing this article, USGS has begun reporting even more earthquakes and they're getting stronger. Now, a brief history, we said approximately 760,000 years ago, the volcanic eruption took place in the northern portions of present day California, which was 2000 times greater than the more recent eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington state. 2,000 times greater. The eruption caused a caldera 10 miles wide and 20 miles in length. It's estimated that the eruption left a lava flow that covered 1,500 square miles and was caused, uh, caused the placement of 150 cubic mi miles of volcanic material. The ash from the volcano was thrown as far east as Nebraska and Kansas all the way to the Pacific Ocean in the west into Idaho, Wyoming, and, north, and even northern parts of Mexico. In the modern day world, the volcano, the volcano in question has not had any volcanic activity over 200 years. Well, we just, this is an old article I'm reading from. This is from 2007. Well, we just read to you what happens. It is active and it's pushing and bel belching and uh, rising. And we have the negative earthquakes, which means that the lava is flowing through the volcano. The, um, in 1980, Volcano, volcano Watch was set at an all-time high after Mount St. Helens eruption, which took the lives of many bystanders caught in the path of the violent explosion. Uh, which such a disaster fresh in the minds of American people, the USGS began searching for other volcanoes in the continental United States that might also present a danger. Also, we also have uh, Yellowstone ready to uh, burst. Now, uh, the ways of cal the caldera in Long Valley caldera is monitored, being constantly monitored by USGS, remote centers, sensors, seismicity, ground deformation, low-lying atmospheric gases, hydrology, that is the lakes, wells, fumarole springs, and participation of caldera are continually monitored to record the order to be read by USGS. The data is then compared to other non-volcanic patterns that the USGS might be able to make a safe and timely prediction on the possibility of another eruption. I'll leave links below for you for this. So heads up, they've given us a warning. This is uh, active and the negative earthquakes mean that the lava is making its way up through the volcano, up to the caldera. That's uh, not good. I'll leave links below for you for this.